Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91. And I'm talking about a little bit of strange story here. Now, before I actually get into the story, I just want to go a little background. Apparently, UK, or England at least, is dealing with a new, more contagious strain of the COVID-19, and they're locked down to try to combat it, right? Okay. Now, apparently, you are able to leave your house only for reasonable excuses. Now, I would assume, I don't know this because I haven't read their rules on which excuse is reasonable, but I would assume that would be like maybe groceries, going to check on a loved one, and for emergencies, right? Playing Pokemon Go is not a reasonable excuse because that's what some guy did. This person, apparently, he drove to look for Pokemon in Kenilworth from Bedworth, which is about 25 minutes by car, right? And he went there to go look for Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, guy, I'm not, listen, I'm not judging him because I can understand because guys, if you guys don't know, I was actually quarantined because when I came back home, you had to be quarantined for two weeks. This was around May of last year. And me and my sister's fiance, thank the Lord, God's blessing, that we were able to spend about 10 days of our quarantine in my cousin's condo instead of at the facility where they had us. That was so much better than the facility and it gave us more freedom. But I understand that you can probably get pent up. I mean, you don't really understand what you miss until you are forced away from it, basically. Like certain things, like even going to the movies, like how many movie theaters haven't reopened, right? Even if you weren't a big movie goer before, the fact that you can't go now sometimes makes it more tempting. So I can understand sometimes people being pent up and maybe they're just feeling like, I need to get out of the house. But going for Pokemon Go, no, 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 no. That is not what you do if you want to try to get out of your house during a lockdown. Like, the police say that's not a reasonable excuse. Now, he was only fined about $270, so that's okay, I guess. Like, that's a reasonable fine, I guess. Uh, hopefully, he just paid it and went home and, you know, stay. But, guys, here's the thing. Not only do you not have to go and play Pokemon Go, right? But I believe it's the Lord's blessing that this pandemic happened during a time where we could connect so much to people without actually leaving our homes. Think about it. Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp, even online games. There are so many ways to talk, to connect with others without going face to face. So for those of you guys in UK and stuff, if you guys are in lockdown and stuff, guys, really try to connect with other people try to in, in in ways that you maybe not tried before because you didn't have to because you used to see them at you know church or at an event or at school or whatever right try to connect them actually go out there and try not go out not leave your house not leave your house no but get out there online i mean like actually reach out there even people who aren't like your best of friends try to connect with people man because you don't need to be driving out and looking for Pokemon, not during a pandemic. That is not a reasonable excuse. But what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this guy leaving his house, going to a place that's about 25 minutes away to look for Pokemon while in lockdown? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and God bless you all.